If it looks like Pyrus is a little bit broken, that's because uh, he's level 49 now. And again, he was genetically engineered to be strong, right? So this is him being strong. Seventy-five percent attack, four star, and everything. We got Shadowvik before we get Lailin. Really? Really? Yeah. It is kind of pointless because you already have it, right? And ours is actually good, but I want to do it just because. There we go. It's useless as well. Give us Lylene. Spawn my lean. Of the guards, I don't care about the guards. That stop giving Norser the new for the fuck. I think they, they're the same tier. So that could have been Lailene instead. Go on. Stegon. Oh, he lives. Okay.
All right, there's blossom out in here as well. I forgot about that. We needed one, but I mean, we get 50 anyways. I don't care anymore. Die. Annoying. Oh, we're just gonna keep massacring them until we get by Lin. I'm not leaving him here without one. I don't need two because I don't care about breeding Lailin. And we don't need for experience either, but one I want. Gets too tapped by the lasers. Oh, divine disaster is such a funny spell. Come on, just one, give me one. I'm not seeing it. It was kind of funny that I got the Shadow before I got the Lailin, but at this point, we should have really gotten one. So we've killed more than 30 of them. Like we've seen literally everybody else. And most of them several times. Again, she should not be as common as Incineram is. Or like Van Lope. But she should be kind of the same tier as Astagon and Orzerk. So 
at least for farming ladder as well. It's gonna be useful for um, Jadragon Saddle, I suppose. We got our 50, haven't we? Yeah. I'm gonna stay here for like five more minutes, maybe. Because finding the other ones that I'm missing should be very, very easy. But this is the only way you can find um, Lailin. I mean, either you kill them the way I do, or you go in the island and away from the island to reset them. But that's just more annoying, and you also get nothing. Doing this gives you experience for the pals and gives you some resources. Like resetting by going in and out of the island is um, for finally for when you can't handle it. I'm not even gonna use the pals. I'm just gonna fight it myself from full. Wow. I'll do a lot of damage. That was it. That's what I came here for. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Spirit Emperor gives uh, grass damage, 20%. Not 100% sure, we can check afterwards. But there isn't really a good uh, grass spell that we can breed. So for now, she just stays, but we captured it, and that's what matters. Nothing, we don't really do anything with it. Okay, now, now that we got her, we go back home, we deposit the things that we have gotten. Uh, get the helm, use the helm. Oh, we have one more. No, we don't. Get the helm, use the helm, look for the others, I think. It's a bit too early to look for the first stallion fight. We will eventually go there as well. I think we're just gonna go around Jet Dragon's area to look for the other two pals, the Blaze Owl and the other one, Ignis, forgot his name. Gobfin. Sadly, don't want to deal with that. That's the worst one. The ferocious pals, ferocious flying pals, will always destroy half your base no matter what. So just porting away. I wanted to repair the equipment, but whatever. We do that later. Is it the first time I see it on this account, that raid? Because I've gotten a lot of those on the other uh, on the other playthrough, and a lot earlier as well. Maybe they just only come when you're like 50 or 48 or something now. They're by far the most um, <clears throat> annoying ones to fight. <coughs> There's so much collateral damage.
There's the blaze hole. Is this huge or just large? It's just normal. That looks very big to me. Okay, that one was huge. This is the other shitter we needed. So now we have this. We also have this. We only need this. And of course, Palladius Necromus and Jadrana. Let's get back to the teleporter. Mm, I think we can just go and um, go and fight Blazamut again. And we don't care about capturing, we can just kill. I think I was very lucky dropping this in like what six fights ish. That also means I suppose that we shouldn't really insist too much on farming for Stellion anymore. Like I still want one or two of them. Because some of the ones that I got were actually bad. So I, I want uh, Frostalion team for fighting the Jet Dragon. I could use Wampo, but Frostalion is just way, way better. But beyond that, we can just uh, use the ones that we have to, to breed if we need more. So yeah, tomorrow we definitely do the other two fights. Yep. Fight the Jedragon, fight uh, Palladius and Necromus, and I think we can also attempt the last tower fight. But if we fail it, we're gonna have a day or two of breeding with the legendaries. We succeed, that is the end of the playthrough. I should also check on the hatchery. Because we need to take out the Jormuntaid Ignis and level them up as well. I think I'm gonna use two of them, not just one. I feel like it's kind of easier, but maybe we just use one. I don't know, I'm not decided. Schematic, but hey, we got dark laser in the in the box. That's huge. That's actually fucking huge. Holy shit! Nice. I think I already had one dark laser. Pretty sure. But it's super good that we got it. Now, if we wanted to. We could give it to Shadow Beak instead of the Spirit Flame. Because the cooldowns are kind of high anyways. This one isn't as high, but obviously the power is way lower. If you give it Dark Laser, then it has two super big damage spells. I, I think I should just do that straight up actually. Because what else am I gonna give it, uh, give it to? 
Right. So obviously the cooldown is very big on this. It's even bigger than the Divine Disaster. But you don't really want Shadow Big to be out at all times. You want Shadow Big to be out of the rotation and then swap it out. So now the click is, is gonna be the Dark Laser and then see his Divine Disaster, which is huge. Mm, I'm gonna pick up the box because I, I want to cast one laser and see the damage. Let's see if we can kill two of these with one laser, we should be able to. I mean, we definitely can. But let's see how much of it is costed before they die. Damage test, yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty damn good to me. Okay. Oops, wrong one. Here we go. Are they bugs? No. Uh, get the helm. Repair the things. Okay, so this is 240, 560. This is 210, 490. It is a decent upgrade. Especially the death part. The parallel button doesn't work again, because why would it? Are they done? Nope, 12 minutes. Okay. What? I definitely want to check on the eggs before being done for today, so we're going to fight for Stallion now. But after that, we either uh, look for the little pet that we haven't gotten yet, or we go around some uh, dungeons for chests, one of the two, until the 12 minute mark. And then after we're done with the hatchery, that's gonna mark the end of today's stream.
Oh fuck, I got him much too early. He should have the divine disaster. I think it got placed on cooldown somehow. You have two more attacks. Stop staring! Holy shit! Dodge one, then dodge the second part. Just waiting for the shield, I don't care about the damage that it takes right now. It's important for us to not take damage. There we go. Nice, perfectly avoided. One shot? Okay. Okay. Great. 